how are you? Fine. Fine, great, excellent. Okay, so please join to Nearpod. Yes. Yes. Okay, Carlos is in Nearpod, but Carlos is in here. Um, the meeting. So, uh, the first thing that you are going to see in your screen, in your computer, it's a whiteboard that only say Entrada Team. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, Carlos isn't trying to join. Okay, well, we well while we are reading to Carlos, so tell me how was your weekend and what did you do in Independence uh, Day? What did you do? Tell me. I visit my parents. You visit your parents. Great, that sounds great, excellent. So did you eat something special? No, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Um... I eat, eat um, bambazos. Oh, that's so delicious. Yes. Yes, great, excellent. So, do you usually celebrate Independence Day? No? Right. Oh, that's so great, that's excellent. Great. Okay, Carlos is here in the meeting. Hello, Carlos. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, great, excellent. Okay, I'm going to close the whiteboard. Okay, so tell me, Carlos, how was your Independence Day? It was good. Okay. Right, so uh, did you eat something special or you only was at home? Pozole. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, we are on a uh, new report now. Let's continue with the last class. The last class. We learn vocabulary about uh, parts of the body, parts of the face. Uh, we learn uh, the parts of the face. And we did a crossword. No, we matching pairs. So now we are going to continue with dishes. But before to continue, I'd like to ask. No, after to continue, I'd like to ask if you did this activity on EducaPlay. Do you remember the activity? Yes. Yes. So someone had a question about activity. No. no. Can you no. share? Can you share me your scores? Have the scores. Can you share me, please, the scores. It will be great. Mm. Okay. Well, don't worry, take your time. Uh... Okay. 
was really easy, right? Right. Right, this is only the body and face part. The activity was really easy. Okay, do you have your score comments or you are you doing the activity now? Or you do, you don't remember where are you um where is your screenshot? I'm doing it. You're doing it. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Hmm. So tell me, Kenya, hmm, what did you do in your weekend? You say that you visit your parents. So what did you do? Okay, Kenya goes. She's gone. Okay, maybe she has problems. Network problems. So how is the city, Carlos? Easy, difficult. It's a little hard to find some words, but I'm trying. Yes, yes, I know. Don't worry, take your time.
Hello, yes. So. Okay, don't worry. Maybe you have trouble with your internet question. Yes, I. Um, okay. la luz. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Don't worry. I understand. That's terrible. Okay, so tell me, Kenya, um, where you was when the earthquake started? You was on work? The earthquake? Yes. Yes? Ah, oh, that sounds terrible. So what did you do? Did you sit in the building or did you go out? Uh, I go out with my... Uh, with the doctor from the past person. Yes. Well, no, like, uh, are four years ago? Wait, yes, no, right? Like four years ago? Was yes. A higher was bigger yes i, I was in, in the school in the school when the orchid start and i was in the last uh, floor and by me was like oh no i can't i can leave i can't go out i need to be here <laughs> it was so terrible <laughs> Disease. 
Es una infección, pues es una infección en la piel. Es diferente una infección a una enfermedad, ¿no? Por ejemplo, um, some people have, um, like, ¿Varicela? Mm, Podría yeah. ser como varicela. Por ejemplo, cáncer, ¿no? En la piel, ¿no? Le uh -huh. salen estas como manchas blancas, ¿no? Uh -huh. También. No, sería una enfermedad en la piel. O maybe allergy, ¿no? Mm. Something. Okay, any other? No. Uh, sour throat. Sour throat. Sour sería lo mismo como ache, que sería dolor. Ache o headache, y tour, pues es garganta, entonces es dolor de garganta. Sur, okay. Lo mismo para sore eye, ¿no? dolor de ojo en el ojo, ¿no? o eye ache. ¿no? Any other? No, no, no. Si ¿sí se entiende, ¿qué sería son? Quemaduras o ¿Piel de gallina? Es este, varicela, ¿no? Varicela, sí, sí, es cierto, varicela. Varicela. Ok. El que sigue. Tenemos Crump. Mump. Mump, sorry. Mump. o como es 15 no calambre calambre no cramp calambre ok y luego tenemos mumps ¿qué será mumps? hinchazón mm. ok si sí, es una hinchazón pero que te da por lo general en, entre la garganta debajo de los eh, las mejillas ¿Paperas? ¿Cómo se llama eso? Ah, exactamente, paperas. ¿no? Las paperas. ¿no? Cuando se te hincha, se te inflaman. ¿no? Ok, luego tenemos measles. ¿Qué es una measles? Measles. No. measles es similar a chickenpox. Solo que chickenpox es paisela. Y measles es. Sarampión. Ajá, sarampión. Chickenpox. Varicela. Ok. Luego tenemos blood test. Eso está súper fácil. Injection. Súper fácil. Infusion. También. Dos Surgery. ¿Qué era surgery, chicos? Cirugía. Cirugía. Ok. ¿Any questions here? No. No. Activity and we have the question What does it matter? Write symptoms or dishes that you can look on each week. No? Symptoms or dishes. No? For example, the first super fácil. ¿Cuál era el corrimiento de la Rolling nose. Rolling nose. También podríamos escribir flu. No, el número uno. The running nose. Y así nos vamos con todas las demás, ¿vale? Ok.
Thanks so much, Carlos. So let me check it out. Okay, no fever, headache, or cold, cold sore air today. But poison heat. Um, okay, excellent, really easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So we check it the next. So we have here. Or the light. Okay. This is a bronchitis or bronchitis of flu or pox, indigestion, infection, pain or ache, a swollen nosebleed, sore nose, cramps. Okay, we have a lot, a lot of vocabulary. If we check it in next, we have more vocabulary. Allergy, fracture, dry throat, vomit, ache, hot smell, rush, eh, wound, sprain, constipation, stomach acidity, heart attack, backache, eh, backache, pimples. So we have a lot, a lot of vocabulary. It's dependent of the symptoms that you have and obviously of the name no because you know that we uh, have a lot of different uh, diseases that have different names no, for example no no COVID-19 no yeah so I back so can you take a screen please done no. okay so can you say me one by one, please. Can you say or can you read one by one, please? Okay. Bronchitis. Mm -hmm. Flu. Mm -hmm. Smallpox. Mm -hmm. Indigestion. Mm -hmm. Infection. Mm -hmm. Pain. Ache. Mm -hmm. Swollen. Nosebleed, uh -huh. sore nose, uh -huh. cramps. Cramps. Okay, really easy. Let me take a, a screenshot to send to. Uh, to send to Kenya. Okay. Okay, I get it. Okay. So I changed to the next. So can you just read one by one, please? Um, allergy, fracture, uh -huh. dry throat, uh -huh. vomit, ear ache, uh -huh. asthma, rush, wound. Uh -huh. Brain, uh -huh. constipation, uh -huh. stomach acidity, uh -huh. heart attack, uh -huh. backache, uh -huh. pimples. Okay, great, excellent. Do you have questions or comments about this? No. Okay. It's really easy because we have next to the word in the meaning of Spanish. Okay, so we have an activity. I think that you need to open and click in the activity. Yeah. And, uh, you go to a link, you open the link, and you have here an activity. Okay, the first part is. Choose the correct answer according to uh, the images. Really easy. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm.
She has got a headache. Great, this is the first part, right, Carla? Yeah. Sí. Okay, so continue the second part, please. Done. Okay, great, excellent. Thanks so much. Really easy, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we back to your foot. Let's go. We have the next. That is the question. How do you feel? How do you feel? Okay, we have here some common questions that maybe a doctor or a friend can you ask you when you look sick. So we had the, fir the first that is how do you feel? And you say, I'm not good, I'm not okay. And someone can ask you, you know, what's smart? You no, know, like here. You no, know, how do you feel? Not so good. What's smarter? I have a headache. I'm sorry to hear that. So, what's the matter? It's like, mm, ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué te pasa? No, what's smarter? ¿Qué te pasa? No, ah, tengo un dolor de cabeza. I have a headache. No, también alguien puede preguntarte, How are you? No. Como estás? Is your fine? Is I'm not good? I'm tired? I'm sick? Or whatever. Y te puede preguntar, what's matter? No. What's matter? ¿Qué te pasa? Or why? No. ¿Por qué? También tenemos, how are you today? No. Say the same. No. Someone can ask why or what's matter? How do you feel? How do you feel today? And we have here some probably any uh, answers. Positive, well, you're fine, you're good, you're great, we are fantastic. But maybe um, negative, you're sick, you're awful, terrible, miserable, maybe no good, um, not fine, no, whatever. And you can explain more, no, I feel sick these days, I have. I had, um, I don't know, I have a true ache, so it's terrible because I can't go to work, no, and whatever. And uh, we have, when you hear or see that someone is not well, well, you can ask what's the matter or what's wrong. What's the matter or what's wrong? What's wrong is, uh, what's the matter? Pero más bien sería como... Eh, ¿Qué pasa, no? Ajá, uh -huh, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué tienes, no? ¿Qué tienes? ¿Qué pasa? What's matter? What's wrong? 
Y es común que te contesten I have o I've got, ¿no? Y decir el problema, ¿no? Eh, el problema de salud, ¿no? I have a toothache. I have vomit. Or I've got a flu. I got, I've got a chicken box. Or whatever. Entonces, can you take a screenshot, please? Yeah. Okay, so we continue with the next. Okay, we have here some common questions. So can you read the first question, please, Carlos? Okay. How are you feeling? Not very well. Can you read the next question, please? How are you today? I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. What's the matter? I'm sick. I'm sick. Uh -huh. What's wrong? Not so good. Okay. Mm. So this is a really common question that you can uh, have when you go to doctor, no? And obviously, when you go to doctor, you need to try to explain a little. No, I'm not feel. I'm not feeling well. I'm sick. I'm have a, a headache. I have a backache. I have cramps or whatever. Okay. If we change okay. the next, we have here some useful phrases that you can use. When someone asks you, for example, I have temperature, uh, or I have um, some heat. No, I have. I I've got vomit. No, entonces aquí es cuando utilizamos I have or I've got. También alguien te puede decir y eh, te puede preguntar si ya Fuiste al doctor, ¿no? Y you can say, eh, ¿qué sería? Have you already seen a doctor? ¿Ya has visto un médico? ¿Ya fuiste al doctor? ¿No? Y tú puedes decir, yes, the doctor gives me a transcription, ¿no? El doctor me dio una receta, ¿no? O maybe decides no ir al doctor y dices, no, but I buy some medicines. No, but I buy some medicines. ¿No? Okay. También otra frase muy, eh, muy útil sería Please take me to the hospital no, Take me, take me to Take me to no, Llévame, take me to Oh, I need no, I need, I need first aid First aid These are some useful phrases We have more useful phrases Like do I have to make an appointment? Do I have to make an appointment? Maybe you go to the doctor, you go to the receptionist, and you ask, Do I have to make an appointment? Tengo que hacer una cita. And maybe you can ask, um, maybe, so, maybe you can say, I feel a little nauseous. Chills. Eh, te pueden decir lie down, hay que acordarnos que lie down sería recuéstate. Te pueden decir open your mouth wide, no, abra, bien, abra bien su boca, eh, stick out your tongue, stick out, stick out your tongue, saque la lengua, stick out, no, saque la lengua. No. What's matter with me? How often must I take this medicine? No, how often? How often? ¿Qué tan seguido? ¿Qué tan mm -hmm. seguido? Must. Debo. How often must I take this medicine? And how long have you had this medicine? ¿Hace cuánto o desde hace cuánto tiempo? All of these are useful phrases. Okay. If we check it next, this is an activity. Activity, we need to uh, click to go to the 
And we have again some a system really easy to like the other. Okay, thanks so much, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, there's the second part. The second part. Okay, really easy. Today, headache, earache, stomachache, cold, and cough. Okay, this activity is really easy. This, um, this is, uh, these symptoms are really common. So that's uh, easy. So we back to new chat, and we are going to read a little time for reading. Okay. The next 
I'm going to share a web uh, site. In this case, it's a PDF. And we have the title Causes of Beauty Resistance. Can you see that? Mm. Nope. Maybe you need to click. Yes, this page cannot be found. Oh, that's so terrible. Give me a second. This is too uh, authentic. This is what said. Yes. Yes, it's true. It's so touchy. For everything because you understand, but even to I found it. Oh, but this is only one part. So we back here to teams. I got it. This is in front of me. I'm going to share my screen. See my screen now. Yeah. We have causes of antibiotic resistance. Okay. Antibiotic resistance happens when bacteria change and become resistant to the antibiotics used to treat the infections they cause. Do you have questions here about vocabulary? Can you try to translate it? No. Sentence to Spanish, please. Ok. La resistencia a los antibióticos ocurre cuando la bacteria cambia y se vuelve resistente a los antibióticos que se usan, usados para tratar la infección que causan. Ok, great. And we have some... Um, some things that are uh, important when we are talking about antibiotic resistance. For example, over prescribing of antibiotics. Over prescribing of antibiotics. So what you can imagine that is over prescribing. This idea over prescribing. Sobre uso? Sobre uso. Podría no. ser, más bien es, nosotros le llamamos en español, es uh, automedicarse. Oh. Automedicarse. 
¿no? Overprescribing of antibiotics. Automedicarse con antibióticos, ok. Patients not finish the treatment. Uh, this is other cause. Patients not finish their treatments. The other cause it's when we have overuse of antibiotics in livestock and fish farming. Livestock. What is the meaning of livestock? No idea. No idea. If you have the image to a cow, what do you think? We have a cow. There's a cow. Mm -hmm. And we get beef of the cow. So what do you think? En el ganado? Ajá. Livestock, ganado. Entonces, okay. el sobreuso de antibióticos en el... Ganado. ganado fish farming. Y la pesca. Ajá. De peces, ¿no? Tenemos... Poor infection control in hospital and clinics. To release it. Poor. ¿Qué es poor? Poca o pobre. Ajá. Entonces, pobre o poco control de infecciones en las clínicas y hospitales. Ya tenemos lack of hygiene and poor sanitation. ¿Qué sería lack? Falta de higiene. Exactly. Falta de higiene y pobre sanitización. Luego, lack of new antibiotics being developed. Falta de desarrollo de nuevos antibióticos. Exacto. Entonces, all of these things are a cause to the antibiotic resistance. We have here uh, like a brain map of antibiotic resistance, how it is spread. Do you know what is the meaning of spread? Um, How it spreads. How it spreads. Mm. Spreads. No, me doy. Spread sería esparcirse. ¿Cómo se esparce? ¿Cómo se transmite? Oh. ¿Cómo se trata? Okay. ¿Cómo se esparce? ¿No? Entonces, we are going to start... Whatever. Ok, we are going to start... Ok, well, not only, we have only one. We need to start here. No, this is the antibiotic. And we are going to go here. To bubble. We have antibiotics are given to patients which can result on drug resistant. Bacteria developing in the gut. Developing in the gut. So, antibiotics are given to patients which can result on drug resistance. Bacteria developing in the gut. So, can you try to translate this part, please? Okay, los antibióticos son dados a los pacientes que, que pueden resultar Bacterias. Está desarrollando en el. Got. Got. Es el intestino. Entonces, pueden resultar en bacterias eh, que desarrollen resistencia a antibióticos oh. en el intestino. Bacterias que pertenecen al intestino. En el intestino. Uh -huh. Entonces, después tenemos patient attend, attend hospital or clinic. Entonces, esto, eh, estas bacterias, ¿no? This bacteria to live in the gut and have a uh, resistant to drug, resistant to antibiotics. And the patients are present to have t uh, bacteria to a hospital or a clinic.
Okay, welcome back, Carlos. Can you see my screen? No yet? Yeah. Yeah, can you see my screen? Sí. Let's see, infography. Infography, how it is spread? Give me a second. Okay, so we continue. So I was saying that this patient, you know, that this person, these people that have the bacteria, you know, and the bacteria, it's uh, air is resistant to a drug, is resistant to antibiotic, can go mm -hmm. to the hospital. The, the trouble is that this bacteria can spread, can spread to other patients uh, through poor hygiene and unclear facilities. Now, so the drug-resistant bacteria spreads to other patients through poor hygiene and unclean facilities. Now, that's a trouble. Yeah. And the drug resistant bacteria spreads to the general public. No, so the first step is when we found a bacteria that had a resistant drug. And the person or the patient go at a hospital and the trouble in the hospital is that the infection continue on the hospital. And obviously the infection spread to the general public no so this is a first way this is a first way to have a um drug resistant bacteria and a bacteria resistant to medicaments so the next way sí. can you read the next way please patient attends hospital or clinic now oh, here the next way, the next way, here, in the antibiotics are... Oh, antibiotics are given producing animals and crops. Okay, so that's the first, no? So the next say... The we next will... say... Animals develop drug resistant bacteria in their gut. Okay. So the first, no, the animals, no, get antibiotic. No, and this antibiotic eh, has contact with the bacteria and the bacteria get a drug resistant. Okay. And what is the next step? Drug resistant bacteria reaches humans through food, the environment, water, soil, air, or by direct human-animal contact. Okay. And the next step is? Drug-resistant bacteria spread in the general public. Okay. So this is really easy to understand. And this is a probably cause, or a probably two weeks when the COVID-19 starts, no? Yeah. Yeah. No. So we have two ways. The first, to people to people, and the other way is to contact to animals no, that get a, a, a drug resistant bacteria or contact with the environment, no, like water, soil, and air. Okay, this is clear, Carlos. What? Is clear. Do you understand all uh, of this? Do you have questions about vocabulary? Soil. Soil. Suelo. Oh. Okay. Any other? other? Mm, no. No. Okay. So we continue. We have antibiotic resistance. What you can do? Okay, now we have antibiotic resistance happens when bacteria change and become resistant to the antibiotic use to treat the infections to cause. Okay, can you read all the uh, suggestions, please? Oh, what? All the suggestions. 
All the things that Everything. people do. The numbers. Everything what we read, right? No, the numbers. The numbers. Can you say the numbers? One, two. Numbers. Three. Yes, they only. Where are the three. numbers? It's a list. Es una lista de cosas que puedes hacer. What you can do. Ah, no, no aparecía. No, ¿Ya, ya aparece? Ya me apareció. Okay, yeah. great. So we have antibiotic resistance happens when bacteria change and become resistant to the antibiotic use to treat infection T cells. And we have a list. So can you read the list, please? Okay. Only use antibiotics when prescribed by a certified health professional. Uh -huh. Always take the full prescription even if you feel better. Uh -huh. Never use leftover antibiotics. Uh -huh. Never share antibiotics with others. Uh -huh. Prevent infections by regularly washing your hands, avoiding contact with sick people, and keeping your vaccinations up to date. Okay. Do you have questions about vocabulary? Mm, leftover, some verbo compuesto, no? Yes, leftover. Sería nunca. Eh, nunca uses los antibióticos que quedan. O. ¿Cómo se dice? Los. Ajá, o sea, los antibióticos o las cosas que quedan. Eh, por ejemplo, te dan una receta y te sobran, no sé, cinco pastillas. Te vuelves a enfermar, dices, ah, la otra vez me mandaron esto y me las, me las tomo, ¿no? No, no es lo adecuado. Leftover, a eso se refiere. Son las que sobran. A los anteriores, ¿no? Ajá, a los anteriores. Los sobrantes. Ajá, los sobrantes. Okay. Any other questions? Mm, no. No. Okay. So, can you translate the first thing, please? The number one in the Spanish? Sí. Solo use antibióticos cuando son recetados por un profesional certificado de la salud. Exactly. Number two. Siempre toma la receta completa, incluso si te sientes mejor. Exactly. Entonces la número 3 ya la traducimos. La número 4. Nunca compartir antibióticos con otros. Uh -huh. Prevén infecciones. Y, no, a ver, prevén, prevén infecciones lavando regularmente tus manos. Evitando el contacto con gente enferma y manteniendo tus vacunas al día. Exactly, no? Keeping your vaccinations up to date. Great, excellent. So all of these are suggestions and it's important to try to, to do it. To do step by step. So we have now what police, what policy makers can do. Why policy makers do? And we have antibiotic resistance happens when bacteria change and become resistant. Okay, this is the, the last sentence. But we have here some activities that policy makers can do. The first, ensure you have a robust national action plan to tackle antibiotic resistance. The number two, improve surveillance of antibiotic resistant infections. Number three, strengthen infection prevention and control measures. Number four, regulate and promote and promote the appropriate use of quality medicine. And number five, make information on the impact of antibiotic resistance. Resistant, available, available, available. Okay. 
policy makers. Policy makers sería como... Política, algo así, ¿no? Ajá. Se refiere a los responsables políticos, ¿no? Uh -huh. ¿No? Policy de política y makers, pues serían los que los hicieron, ¿no? Entonces, las eh, responsables políticas. políticas, ¿no? Las políticas responsables, ¿no? ¿Qué pueden hacer, no? Los políticos responsables, ¿qué pueden hacer, no? Y tenemos aquí diferentes eh, cosas que pueden hacer. Y la primera dice, Ensure you have a robust national action plan. Ok, ¿no? Tenemos un eh, acción, un plan de acción nacional eh, robusto. robusto, ¿no? Eh, bueno, en este caso eh, dice Ensure, que se, se, agu se asegura que se tiene un plan nacional eh, robusto para, eh, para el tratamiento, para enfrentar, sí, como, uh, enfrentar, abordar, eh, asistir, ¿no? Um, como otro sinónimo, um, podría ser como tratar, ¿no? También uh -huh. tratar la resistencia a antibióticos. ¿no? Entonces, the first, the second say um, surveillance, surveillance, uh -huh. sería como la um, como la... ¿Cómo se explica esto? Como la inspección, no. ¿O vigilancia? Ajá, o sea, vigilar. Supervisar, supervisar. Surveillance, uh -huh. supervisar, supervisar. Entonces, supervisar las infecciones que son, eh, que están en contacto improve o que eh, mantienen o que aumenten ¿no? el contacto de infecciones con resistencia a antibióticos ¿no? vigilar eh, o mejorar la vigilancia de infecciones que tienen resistencia a antibióticos la número 3 Straighten Infection Prevention. Sería como... Mmm, pues straight, así como tal, es como fortaleza. Entonces sería como fortalecimiento o reforzamiento. Straighten, fortalecimiento de medidas de control y medidas para prevención de infecciones. No, measures, medidas. Okay. Número 4. Regular y promover el uso apropiado de medicamentos de, de calidad. Quality, calidad. Y la última. Eh, hacer información impacto. Eh, on the impact. Mm, aquí, impact, aquí es impacto. Pero más bien creo que se refieren como que la información se... ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Esté al alcance o se... Impact, en este caso, hablando de ciencia, se refiere como a um, comunicación, como a literatura, como a... Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Que se le informe. Informar, ¿no? Uh -huh. Hacer información para que se informe, para que llegue a la gente impact, ¿no? So, eh, que lleve a la gente eh, de la... Que llegue a la gente y que sea disponible, available, sobre la resistencia a antibióticos. Uh -huh. ¿Hasta aquí vamos bien? Ok... Yes. ¿No? Sí. Ok. La que sigue. Tenemos... What health workers can do? ¿Qué pueden hacer los trabajadores de la salud? Ok. Can you read all the numbers, please? Can you start with the first? 
Yeah. Prevent the infections by ensuring your hands, instruments, and environment are clean. Mm -hmm. Keep your patients vaccinations up to date. Mm -hmm. If you think a patient might need antibiotics, where possible, test to confirm and find out which one. Mm -hmm. Only prescribe and dispense antibiotics when they are truly needed. Prescribe and dispense the right antibiotic at the right dose for the right duration. Okay. So the first, no? Prevenir infecciones. ¿Cómo? Pues con la limpieza, no? Eficiente de las manos, del instrumento y de eh, environment. En el este ambiente. caso, environment es ambiente, pero más bien se refería a como al lugar de trabajo. A su área de trabajo. Exactly. Luego la número dos. ¿Qué dice la número dos, Carlos? Mantener las vacunas en tus pacientes al día. Exactly. La número tres. Si piensas que tu paciente podría necesitar antibióticos, uh -huh. donde de ser posible, examínalo para confirmar y find out which uh, one sería um, como encontrar pero en el es? cuadro no no find ¿Dónde? out which one find out which one encontrar el antibiótico adecuado no okay uh -huh. find out pues es Encontrar, averiguar, eh, investigar, ¿no? ¿Cuál, no? La, la que sigue, número cuatro. Ah. Ok. Solo receta y distribuye antibióticos cuando sean realmente necesarios. Exacto, y cuando sean realmente necesarios. La número cinco. Receta y distribuye el antibiótico correcto en la dosis correcta, en la duración correcta. Exactly. No, that's important. There are important steps to the health worker. So now we have what the agriculture sector can do. And we have other steps. The first step is ensure that antibiotics given to animals, including food eh, production. Can you see my screen, Carla? Yes? La veo, pero como que no se mueve por el momento. Okay. No sé si sea el internet de acá de la zona, yo creo que sí. I don't know, maybe it's my internet. Well, es que también como que se corta de momento. Yes, yes, I can hear that. Okay, can you see my screen now? Por mm, el yeah. Yes, okay. So we have what the agriculture sector can do. No? ¿Qué puede ¿Qué hacer, puede hacer el agricultura? Exactly. And we have here different steps. The first step is ensure the antibiotics given to animals, including food production, and companion animals are only used to control or treat infection diseases and under veterinary supervision. The number two is vaccinate animals to reduce the need for antibiotics and develop alternatives to the use of antibiotics in plants. Number three, promote and apply good practices at all steps of production and processing of foods from animal and plant sources. Number four, adopt sustainable system with improved hygiene, biosecurity, and stress-free handling of animals. And number five, implement international standards of the responsibility 
of use of antibiotics and yield lines set out by OIE and FIO and WHO, now WHO. Okay, Carlos, can you translate the first, please, to Spanish? Ok, asegurarse de que los antibióticos dados a los animales, incluyendo a la producción de comida y companion, no me acuerdo que era companion. Sí, animales de compañía. Ah, oh, y animales de compañía sean solo usados para controlar o tratar las diversas infecciones y bajo la supervisión de un veterinario. Ajá, las enfermedades infecciosas. Mm, ok. Enfermedades infecciosas. Infecciosas, ok. Number two. Vacunar a los animales para reducir la necesidad de antibióticos y desarrollar alternativas para usar los antibióticos en las plantas. Ok, great. Number three. Promover y aplicar buenas prácticas en todos los pasos de producción y procesamiento de comida para animales y para planta. Y recursos. Y recursos y para plantas. las plantas. Ajá. Number four. Adoptar sistemas sustentables como mejorar la higiene. Ajá. Uh -huh. La bioseguridad y liberar el estrés de los animales. Manejo libre de estrés para animales. Ah, ok. Manejo libre de estrés para animales. Ajá. Handling sería manejo. Ok. Ok, number five. Implementar estándares internacionales para el uso responsable de los antibióticos y... Guidelines, Serían y... las guías. Guías. Ajá, de los antibióticos y las guías. Eh, estos papeles que son este, son similar como a políticas. Ok. Ajá, guidelines. De antibióticos y políticas. Ajá. Y luego set out by. ¿Qué sería set out by? Y tenemos a who, a fi, and I. ¿Enviados por? No. Enviados por. Podría ser. Más bien serían como propuestos. ¿no? Ok. Por pro propuestos, expuestos, ¿no? Por. Ok. ¿Hasta aquí vamos bien? Ok, sí. Ok. Um, it's the last. Okay, so tell me, Carlos, what do you think about the antibiotic resistance? Yeah. All of these things that we read, what do you think? Well, it's good to 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 improve some ways to for the antibiotic resistance because for past years. There have been so much antibiotics that made that resistance like penicillin and it was a real problem for for that time. And now I don't know which antibiotic could get a new resistance. Yes, it's true. Well, yeah, we have a lot of different um bacteria that are resistant to different antibiotics well the important step here is try to understand that when a bacteria can get resistant to an antibiotic the trouble is that you can get a ILS that is higher but is a uh, worse not like a uh, uh, two years ago so when yeah. COVID starts you know, we don't have nothing to to attack no these these virus not obviously virus is different to a bacteria but it's similar for vaccines well yes 
to vaccines, this is similar. And the treatment, it's a little different, no? Yeah. But uh, the idea here is, for example, mm, the, no, the flu, no, the, the flu is a, is a virus. Mm, when you get diarrhea, no? When you get diarrhea, usually it's a bacteria that you usually eat. And it's really common that you get a bacteria in whatever, in whatever place, in the environment. If you don't wash your hand, you can get yeah. diarrhea. And it's really frequently. And what happened this? This happened because uh, some yes, bacteria are uh, has a uh, resistant to antibiotics, has resistant to drugs. And obviously when you get uh, sick, it's because this bacteria is um, strong, no? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think about all of these things? Do you think that we did something with this trouble here in Mexico? Um, not a lot. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. Why? We normally use medicines that we have there in our saved well that we have there. Okay. We say so I think that we I'm going to be fine if I take this, but it could be something different. So Yes, yes, it's true. We usually over prescribing, no, and antibiotics, or whatever medicine, or whatever treatment. Yeah, and with, sorry. Yes, we usually over prescribing. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. We usually over prescribing. Uh. Yes, don't worry. This idea. Yeah. Over prescribing. Here. Yeah, yeah. We do this. We do that too often. Yes, yeah. it's true. And yes, yeah. that's a trouble. That's a problem. So usually over prescribing? Yeah, and, and sorry. You usually over prescribing when you get sick. Uh, uh, oh. No. Oh, gosh, not my entering. Mm-hmm. 